Hey friends, I Chetan Shiksal, an EHS professional, welcome you all to my YouTube channel of Knowledge Fact, where we share knowledge related to environment, health and safety. In this video, I will tell you about the toolbox talk of chemical safety. But before going ahead, I would request you to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for more latest interesting videos. And don't forget to like and share this video. To gain complete knowledge, please watch this video till the end. Toolbox Talk helps to reduce the workplace incidents. So let's see how we have to conduct the Toolbox Talk. Toolbox Talk should be given at the start of the day's work. It is a refresher talk which should be given every day. It should be given for 10 to 15 minutes and it should be short and simple to understand. In toolbox talk, we have to communicate about the hazard associated with the work and we also have to communicate about the action taken to eliminate the hazard. In toolbox talk, we should communicate about the property of the chemical. This property should be known to the working person. Safety data sheet should be readily available in the working area. We should store only compatible chemical with each other and the storage of incompatible chemical should be avoided. Chemical should be stored at its dedicated location. We should also tell about the importance of using the PPE while handling the chemicals and hence the use of PPE should be followed. GHS label should be present on the chemical container or the bottles. It helps for the quick identification of the hazard or the property of the chemical. Static charge should be dissipated before going in flammable chemical store. Firefighting equipment should be present near chemical store. A thing is one of the most important thing which should be considered while dispensing the flammable chemical. Toxic chemical should be stored in a locked condition. Explosive chemical should be isolated from the chemicals of other hazard categories. We should keep the spill control kit in the chemical store so that in case of spillage or in case of emergency we can use it and the spillage or the spreading of the chemical can be controlled. We should provide a secondary containment to the chemical store. So the toolbox talk helps to improve the safety at work. It keeps team member alert about the hazard and it also helps to improve the communication of the team. You can also record the data of toolbox talk to evaluate the safety performance. Thank you. Knowledge is power to your success.